The objective of this research is to evaluate the effectiveness of thermal degradation process and to determine the conversion of agricultural waste plastics products into high energy liquid hydrocarbon fuel. There are four steps in the methods. First one is sample preparation. The agricultural waste plastic sample will be collected and the unclean will be washed, dried and torn using scissors. Second one is sample loading and setup. The experiment will be carried out inside the fume hood in glass reactor. Ethesis of waste agriculture sample will be poured into 1 litre boiling flask without any catalyst and heated on heat mantle with variable meter connected. The distilled, water, distilled adapter, clump joints, condenser and collection flask with high temperature epsilon grease will be attached. The electricity consumption will be measured using the electricity logger. Then, condensation process. The variable percent was 70, which is 315 degrees Celsius for quick melting and will, and will reduce to 50, which is 225 degrees Celsius after the sample melt. This because of the smoke formation. Temperature control was maintained by variable meter. The vapor produced and turned into liquid fuel as it traveled through condenser, which has cooling water. The process performed without vacuum, chemicals, or catalyst. The last step is fuel calculation and residue collection. The process took about 2 hours and 36 minutes and used 0.3 46 kilowatt per hour. One gallon fuel needed 13.3 kilowatt per hour, and one metric ton of agricultural waste plastics needs about 4030.30 kilowatt per hour. The fuel obtained is 52 gram, which is 69 milliliter, and derived density is. 0.76 gram per milliliter compared to gasoline fuel and also it have the burning properties next are the result according to FTIR analysis by using infrared spectroscopy the energy of each spectrum band of functional group is calculated FTIR library is used to compare unknown materials that are easy to identify and have an accurate result. For the DNS analysis, the onset temperature or time of fuel characterization is found using differential scanning calorimeter. The graph that uploaded show the information such as peak, peak height, area, delta H, or molecular weight. Also, it measured a change in heat flow in which a sample transformed from one state to another. For the residue characterization by elemental analyzer, the result shows the composition of carbon and hydrogen ratio. Lastly, the data table of elemental analyzer is used to find the percentage of elements, for examples such as carbon, which is 48.26% and hydrogen 6.85%. For the discussion, FTIR spectrophotometer can measure intensity over a narrow range of wavelength at a time. Thus, spectral data is collected such as solid, liquid, or gas over a wide spectral range. The field was characterized as head 10 by differential scanning calorimeter with molecular weight of 100.21 gram per mole. This is due to the temperature onset of 97.7 degrees Celsius that represent boiling of fuel of giraffe compound that is head 10. This was determined by the reference of hydrocarbon standard delta table. On the other hand, from elemental analyzer, the present of the composition of carbon and hydrogen ratio as well as sulfur and nitrogen as a stress quantity that can be ignorable. 
The benefits doing this alternative is the produce flow from agricultural waste product can generate electricity. Next, this method is also profitable, environmental friendly, and can avoid the cost of landfill and incineration. However, the limitation from this process is the remaining waste products which are non-biodegradable. It makes unsaturated mixture in the soil that will inhibit the crop growth, hence lead to a negative impact on cultivation process. Therefore, implementing 3R, reuse, reduce, and recycle method is advised. Segregate the material such as plastic bags and wrapping. Collect and store the waste plastic of the use and contact a recycling center if the waste is no longer usable. For conclusion, the conversions of agricultural waste plastics to liquid hydrocarbon fuel was carried out in a thermal degradation process and in absence of a catalyst. Not only that, agricultural waste plastics problem can be solved by utilizing the natural state research technology. Last but not least, the produce fuel from the agricultural waste plastic can be used as a feedstock of refinery because it has high content of energy value or can be used to produce electricity.